tackle. Three. Somebody's pumped. What do we got, Rude? What do we got? Got some new toys? Chew new toys? toys. Mm. Not for chewing, really. <laughs> Not by Rue, anyway. So, new box just came in from Molex. Been uh, repping their stuff for the last couple of years, and I've been seriously impressed. Um, been working with them on the uh on the sneaky frog but up here that's uh i help sort of they designed it but then i helped refine it and get it to where it was absolutely perfect it took nearly a year and a half and i believe it's the greatest uh frog that there uh that there is just does absolutely everything it's a little bit bigger standard size and it just um and it walks back and forward does so many different things caught a lot of giants on that bait i don't know what i've got in here but it's 17 pounds of lures <laughs> so whatever 17, it's a healthy order whatever 17 pounds get you well you know I've, I've seen that frog in action and i'm impressed so yeah i think i've been on the boat with probably about 15 guys with that frog and every one of those guys owns quite a few of those frogs now no comment yeah <laughs> tell so us more about molex this is uh molex an italian company this has been sent straight from italy Ooh. and uh there's yeah. bass in italy yep yep there's good bass in italy We've okay good bass population they're not huge but um yeah definitely super passionate about their bass fishing and very passionate about their lure making high super high quality and uh and just a little bit off the wall stuff very um they they, they use a lot of uh, innovative things and just they don't copy anything everything is very unique and that's what i like about them so nice it's, uh, all white boxes so let's just have a look at a couple of things uh, a lot some of this stuff is what i've ordered um so this is usually they'll just send me stuff but this is nearly primary stuff that i've ordered this is the best mid-size finesse jig that I've ever fished. They call it their football head jig. It's actually tungsten as well. But here it's called the MF jig half ounce. And I'll tell you what makes this thing so special is this unique shape head. So they call it their football head, but I like to call it like a mushroom style head and it just comes through everything. For some reason, that head just does not get stuck. Rip wrap, everything. So they got a finesse top silicon skirt, so they cut it off short. Mm. Um, allows it to fall better. And then it's just got a, a nice, heavy hook in it. Super sharp, and it's not that small style um, hook that a finesse jig usually comes with. So they've got plenty of little claws. I'll usually trim this up and make it look all sort of scattered and ratty through there and then have the little claws hanging at the back so this is their finesse jig or oh, it's a football jig and it is my one of my favorite jigs to throw i caught a bunch of fish on it this year in quite a few of the events it was tied on uh, pretty much all year so when you order jigs what colors are you ordering I've definitely simplified it a lot more. Um, so that'll be, there's like olive color like that. It's probably, well, this one is just a brand new color. I never ordered that, but that's a wicked looking shad color. That's something that is for sure worth trying. I haven't even seen that. That's a brand new color. Um, that Perks looks, of being that on looks, the pro staff. Yeah. And that is, that. that is one of the cool things. You, you know, you get to see some of this stuff before other people and fish it before guys are so it's straight black straight black so yeah that's always been a solid one yeah for me. you can't you can't beat like really to be honest i like fishing green pumpkin black blue that light olive you know brown couple of close um colors but you know try and keep it simple this is the black blue one. This is the one I had a lot of cold punch on this year, and it's just got a little bit of blue fleck through mm, it. So. Black and blue. Yeah. I actually ordered these off Tackle Warehouse this year quite a few times. 
to um, get them in before the tournament because ordering in from Italy sometimes they just they don't get there. So quarter, I've got quarter, three eighths, and halves. In um, when do you like to use those? You know, different size jigs. It it pretty much just all depends on the fall rate that I want and the depth I'm fishing. But I mean, it's hard to go past like early in the year when I want a slow fall when it's cold I'll go 3 8 but man I've got that half ounce tied on a lot through the year just half ounce I reckon just does everything flip it at a bush at a stump and you can um, and then you can drag it down some rip rat you can drag it in deeper rock they'll hit it up shallow they'll hit it in 20 so I just you know it's it you can be efficient be a, with the half ounce yeah, okay yeah. half ounce is just good for everything so new box here and this is another special bait it's uh the mollix ra shad ra shad and what makes this so special that's a new color that's gonna be an awesome little smallmouth one let's get my favorite one out it's wakasagi that's in the four that's in the four four point five so how many different sizes is that Rashad? there's um there's a bunch actually so it should be three and then there's like 3.8 4.5 and then the, there's like two more above that it's like a 5.5 and then a six looks pretty soft so the what what makes these different i'll show you super sexy color this is an awesome clear water color so what you're going to get with the ra shad is any other paddle tail that's very soft in the tail like this when you swim it, the body's going to stay still like this and just the tail's going to paddle. So you're going to get a still body action, you're going to get that tail just slowly paddling. And that's great. And then you've got, great for some situations, and then you've got one that has a stiffer tail, is going to get a big body roll and tail thump, but you're going to have to work it faster than average. The Rashad, however they've got that body design, that T-shaped body, this thing, no matter how slow you wind it, that paddle tail is going to go and this body is going to roll. So at a dead slow wind, you've got the best of both worlds. And that is that is what makes this so special. I've just got absolutely loads of them. And these are just all cut. These are basically top-up colours that, um, that I've ordered in. And there's a couple little things. I like to fish them on a ball head jig. Um, a data head, I put them on the, you know, they're great on an A rig. That's just a all, great all round color. That ghost gill just catches them everywhere. What determines your head selection? Um, just m mainly, mainly depth, and is is the main thing. But a ball head, for some reason, allows it to roll, allows it to to really get that body roll happening, and that is a. Uh, that's super important um, in a lot of different situations. Let's see the colors, man. Let's see. Are they different colors? Just, yeah, those ones are the same. They were just bigger. Okay. They're the jigs. Watermelon special. See, I got a lot of the bigger ones. It's Wakasagi, Ghost Gill, Rashad, Ghost Gill. See, these are just top up ones that I've had, that I've used. This looks like a new one. new one bit of a trout looking pattern it's cool got a, oh, yeah, there's a rush and threes there go skill most of them's go skill and then like that's the little tiny one like in clear water mead havasu when they're just chasing little tiny shads it's, it's hard to get something with that sort of profile so that's awesome on a little little ball head jig and then we got a this looks like three inch ones as well go still yeah. there's some top secret stuff that you're not allowed to see <laughs> prototypes and stuff i'm working with uh molex on sorry guys sorry <laughs> you will one see day one enough. day when it's ready yeah I mean, how much testing and design goes into a final product like you're opening, you know, before that people don't realize? Yeah, it's crazy. Um, oh, yeah, cool. New packaging for the... That looks nice for the Rashad. So that little color there is 
Awesome. What Ooh, color is that? Color. Wakasagi. Okay. Unreal clean water color. So I've got Wakasagi, White Shad, and um, and then that Ghost Gill, and then that bright green one. But yeah, this the Sneaky Frog, you know, it was really almost two years in the making and they gave it to me almost two years ago. I fished with it and I got back to them. I said, this thing is something special and you need to just fix a couple of things on it. But then it went back and forward, you know, 10 times until it was perfect, you know, right down to where it was longer. So I had to make sure the nose stayed tight to the line tie for the hook sets to how I wanted the body to sit on the hooks, how I wanted it to compress where the weight was, um, the softness of the material, everything had to be perfect. But the key with this bait is I can sit it there and just turn it on a dime and it just spits water one way or the other. And any fisherman that sees me work it for a couple of feet says, what's that? <laughs> they, you can just tell it's gonna get eaten and I've caught some of my biggest frog fish um, fishing here on this on the sneaky frog. And, I just catch numbers and size on it, so cast a mile, awesome profile, good in heavy cover, and then good in open water. Pretty cool, pretty cool all around up, so. I noticed, uh, you know, the pattern on that thing is like in between a frog and a bird and a fish. Yeah, well that's what you want to do is just, you want them to think it's, a, you know, anything, a part of their food chain, you know, if they're eating frogs you want it to look like a frog if they're eating shad off the top if they're eating bluegill and if they're eating birds it, dragonflies anything you that can be mistaken that profile can be mistaken for anything the key is where that weight is it gives it that pivot in the middle allows it to spin sit in one place floor it up when they're on anywhere when they're on beds you throw that and walk it and it doesn't go anywhere it just sits over their bed those big ones just come up and crush it so that's the sneaky frog from Molex. So I'm loaded up with raw shads in the three, the 3.8, 4.5, and then all my MF football jigs in all the different colors, three eighths, half ounce, stocked up, ready for a big 2018. That's Anson's nice. prototypes that you can't see, that I'm about to look at. <laughs>